Hi, and welcome from Crafton Hills College. My name is Brandi Bayless, and I am the Academic Senate President and Co-Chair of the Department of Mathematics here at Crafton Hills College. I am also a former student at Crafton Hills College. I went here to get my associate's degree before transferring to Cal Poly Pomona to get a bachelor's and master's in applied mathematics. Before coming to Crafton Hills College, I also worked in the field as a programmer analyst, a business analyst, and a full stack web developer. They were all computer heavy jobs and all jobs that I enjoyed. So far, my very favorite has been working here at Crafton Hills College. Um, we have a small college. It's a welcoming environment. It's very STEM oriented and we have a lot to support our students while they're here. It was one of the things that I enjoyed about being here and one of the things that I enjoy about working here. We have a STEM center, which allows students a cohesive environment to get together and study but it also gives us a place to organize activities for our STEM students that are sort of campus wide. So students don't have to worry about signing up for the right class at the right time to be able to join in in a field trip or a competition to be able to hear a special speaker. They're all done through the STEM Center and that means that any STEM student or students who are just interested in STEM can come and enjoy those um, as part of a community throughout the college. We also have STEM oriented clubs we have a very strong tutoring center that supports our STEM students. We have embedded tutors in the classroom, which is one of uh, our students' favorite aspects of our classes here at Crafton. So when you're taking a math class with me, we'll also have a tutor in the room. That way you can get to know them. You're hearing the material with the tutor. You don't have to go later and trying to explain to your tutor what you learned in the class or how your instructor taught it because your tutor was there with you in the classroom and experience the same thing that you did. So they also heard what the exam would be like. They also know um, how I explained the homework and they can support you as you grow. Some false stereotypes of the STEM majors is that one, we are good at all STEM classes, or two, uh, my favorite from TV shows and media is that we can look at some stuff on the board and then magically throw up some Greek symbols and come up with a number that solves a worldwide problem. That is not what being a STEM major is like. First of all, there was tons of math classes that I struggled in and tons of math classes that I didn't really care for. Uh, but I still like the overall major. And so I was able to focus on maybe this, this pathway in math wasn't for me, but there are plenty of other pathways in math. So if as a student right now, you're taking a STEM course that you're uncomfortable with or that you're just not a big fan of, um, just know that it's one course among many in the STEM field, and just like all fields and all majors, there will be courses that you don't really favor and courses that you do. So don't let one poor experience in one STEM class um, steer you away from the major entirely. The second part would be that we are not all magic STEM geniuses. As a field, no matter what STEM area you choose, we move forward in little steps together. It is not huge giant leaps like it, we see portrayed in the movies or on TV or that we hear about through stories and books. It is more often tiny steps that are taken as a community. This is what peer reviewing is for. This is why we work in groups and not in isolation. Uh, so being a part of the STEM field is being a part of a community that helps support you as you move forward and what your interests are. Uh, one more thing I would like to mention is that there are STEM majors and there are STEM related majors. And you wanna choose an institution that supports STEM so that your STEM related major is also supported. So STEM related majors might include anthropology or economics or political science or nursing. All of these are not technically STEM majors, but they're STEM heavy majors. So you still wanna pick an institution that is strong in their STEM program so that they can support the strong STEM related majors. And that way you have a support system, even if you're not technically a STEM major. Hi everyone, my name is Christy Beck. I'm a Crafton Hills College alumni. I majored in chemical engineering and I'm now at UC Riverside um, studying for my bachelor's degree. Throughout my experience at Crafton, it's been very positive. I think Crafton has a great environment, especially for women in STEM because there's a constant amount of support from your peers and your professors. There's a ton of resources that will help you succeed and many different opportunities. Um, for instance, there's a STEM center 
um, that offers tutoring. So if you're ever struggling in a course, you can get the help that you need. There's also the honors program on campus and you can get involved in leadership or research opportunities through that. And ultimately it just helps you to learn and to learn about what makes you curious and what you're passionate about. So you can figure out what route of STEM you want to go and pursue. If you enjoy science, technology, engineering, or math, I highly encourage you to find out what makes you curious and what you are passionate about. Start learning about the different STEM careers and figure out what you are interested in doing with that career. Ultimately, I am very proud to be a Crafton Hills College alumni because it prepared me for my future in STEM. Hello, my name is Fago Arab. Um, so I had a overall wonderful experience um, at Crafton. I was there for a while, so I got to take different STEM classes such as math, chemistry, and biology. And I think, so they have like many options for STEM classes. And I think it's really important to take um, as many as you can to figure out what you like. Uh, another good thing about community college is you have more time to take more classes, figure out what you want. And what I liked about my STEM classes um, was you got to work with many people. It felt like a community there. So, um, you know, Many times when I struggled, I worked with my classmates and I, I think it's really important to collab with your classmates. We have all kinds of student clubs and organizations for you to get involved in if you're interested in STEM as a career path. Clubs like the chemistry club, the math club, the physics club, even a STEM girl club for women in STEM. If you come to Crafton and you find that we don't have a club specifically for the field that you're interested in, you could start your own. The whole point of these clubs is for you to develop the leadership skills that you're going to need to be a successful STEM professional. Skills like conflict management, time management, organizational skills. All those skills will help you be the stars in the STEM field that we know that you are. We can't wait to see all the amazing things that you are going to do to make our world a better place. We'll see you soon. STEM does allow for a plethora of interesting jobs and interesting careers. That includes business analyst, programmer analyst, web developer, but also I have friends that left Cal Poly to become um, engineers at JPL. Some that worked on calculating satellites, both natural and man-made, that spin around the earth to make sure that they don't collide. I have some that moved on to City of Hope to become business IT specialists. Look for colleges that show commitment to diversity. This is what Craft and Hills is doing. We are supporting our STEM majors to support all majors. We're embedding tutors so that when you hit a class that is difficult, it doesn't become a roadblock and we can help you through it and move you on to the next class where you can excel even further. So we welcome you to our campus and I hope to see you soon.